Hey, what's up? My name is Alan Hernandez. I'm from Bakersfield, California, and I tore my ACL and PCL. So it was July 7th, 2014. Uh, I just went for another skate trip like I usually do. Um, it was, I believe it was me, Abraham. I went with a couple other friends, Filmer. Um, we went to Fresno, which is, I'm from Bakersfield, so it's like two hours up north. And uh, we went, I believe it was the second spot of the day. We went to the, these perfect ledges first and uh, we got kicked out within like 10 minutes. They were perfect too, I really wanna skate them. And then we went to, uh, went to this gap. It was like a gap in the middle of nowhere. It was like, uh, I think like a three block, kind of like a three block in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it wasn't that big. I wanna say maybe it was like a, like a 10 stair. But uh, anyway, we went, um, I started trying, uh, started trying a nollie front heel. And uh, I think, I think it was like maybe 10 tries in. I uh, at first I was I was just popping it to get get the feel for it like I usually do. I usually just do a couple nollies, and uh, I do a couple nollies just to feel like the nollie pop, and then I'll uh, I'll start going for the trick. I started going for it. I ca caught it a couple times, felt good, and then uh, I was gonna go for it, and for some reason I kicked out, and um, I landed with my body pretty angled pretty weird to where my shoulders were just leaning all in on on my left knee and uh my knee landed straight so like my knee buckled and it, it just landed completely straight it didn't it didn't uh, bend like it was supposed to and i just landed all my weight on my knee um my knee bent the wrong way it didn't make a pop so i mean at the moment i watched the footage and it looked pretty crazy but um it didn't pop backwards Nobody heard a pop. Uh, all the dudes that were there were, were pretty concerned, but everybody thought I was fine. I thought I was fine. It hurt like the kind of hurt where you're like, oh, I'm probably not gonna skate for a couple weeks. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm like, okay, cool, cool. I'm just, I'm gonna chill out. People kept skating the gap. Um, we were there maybe for like, if I can remember correctly, like another 30 minutes and I was just chilling on my board, uh, just rubbing it, trying to make sure it was okay, but I could still bend it at that point. I was I was gonna try it again, but I was like, it's probably a bad idea, so I did it. And uh, I was just sitting there, we left, I went home. It started hurting really bad on the way back. I wanna say we stopped to eat somewhere, and uh, it was like, at that point, I had, my body had cooled down, so it was really hard to get out of the car. Um, I got, I tried to get out of the car, and it was like, it was buckling like bad, to where I was like, okay, there's something seriously wrong here. So, um, I think I, I grabbed my board and I kind of just dragged myself on my board like to, this, to the eating spot and uh, we ate whatever. It was hurting really bad on the way home. It was like a two hour drive so it was hurting really bad. Um, I got home, I had my girlfriend like ice it and like rub it and whatnot. She tried to help me out and uh, it felt a little bit better that night but then um, until maybe like in the middle of the night I was sleeping and I remember it woke me up and it was like the worst pain of my life like it just kept waking me up I made it until maybe like the Sun came out because I couldn't sleep so I remember the Sun coming out and I just said I need to go to the doctor like this is this is just bad um, so in the morning my girlfriend took the day off from work I think it I think it was a I want to say it was a Monday I could be wrong but uh, I remember she had to work and she took the day off to take me to the hospital and uh, I didn't have insurance at the time. So I went to the hospital. Um, it was kind of a ghetto hospital. So like I got there, I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk at all. Like I remember it, it hurt really bad to get in the car. Like it was just getting worse and worse by the minute. Um, I got into the hospital. Uh, they didn't have a, a wheelchair for me. I remember I had to kind of like limp there because they didn't, I didn't have a, they didn't have a wheelchair for me. So um, I go in there. Um, I'm probably in there for like eight hours before I got seen by anybody and the pain just kept getting worse I remember they just went out there and gave me some uh, so they gave me some ibuprofen but they just went over to the to the waiting area they didn't even like accept me in or anything and they just gave me so they kept giving me ibuprofen and I'm like this is not helping at all this is getting bad so finally they saw me uh, the doctor I saw was actually I mean I don't think he knew what he was talking about because he told me 
uh, and, and I didn't have insurance at the time, so I couldn't go to like a real specialist or anything. Um, the guy, it was an emergency room. The guy just told me like, hey, um, we're gonna do an x-ray. Uh, you're probably fine. They do an x-ray, the guy comes back. It, it's like the same night, it's nighttime at this point. The guy comes back and says, you know what? You're gonna be out for, they said four to eight weeks, like the typical when you roll your ankle and then they say like, oh, four to eight weeks, you'll be fine, you'll be skating again. And I'm like, okay, whatever, but before I left, I asked him, like, can I get an MRI? Because I've heard that you usually need MRIs when it's, like, ligament related. And uh, and he said no. I, now that I look back at it, he probably said no because the insurance costs. I didn't have insurance. It's probably just a bad idea for him. So, uh, so anyway, I just went with the x-ray. Uh, said four to eight weeks. I go home. Before I got out of there, they got a nurse in there, and they bandaged it. It was a pretty ghetto job. They didn't, they didn't really go too into it with me. They just... They wanted me out of there, I could tell. So whatever, I just said, I'm gonna deal with this four to eight weeks. I'm gonna go home and watch some skate videos. Um, I went home. I remember it wasn't getting better. The severe pain went away, but it just, it wasn't getting better. Um, but the guy did say four to eight weeks. So I just sat around like any other skateboarder would do. And like when you have anything else wrong with you and you just kind of just watch skate videos until, until you can skate again. So I remember I waited I want to say I waited like the eight weeks because it felt swollen. I felt like there was water in there or something. It felt swollen, but I didn't have insurance at the time. And um, I waited probably like eight weeks and um, tried to skate again, try to get back into it. It was impossible. Like I wasn't even close to skating. Like I got out there and like I couldn't even bend my knee. Like I, I was still limping walking, so it was pretty bad. Uh, so I said, you know, obviously this doctor's wrong. Uh, there's no way, you know, he knew what he was talking about because I couldn't even walk normal. So um, what I ended up doing, I called my mom's friend is actually a nurse. And uh, at that point, I had just moved to Long Beach. And um, there was this place she told me about where uh, uh, the nurse, she told me there's this place where people without insurance go and they'll do uh, like extensive research on whatever's wrong with you. So I was like, okay. So I remember going in the morning, one of those, one of those mornings and, and waiting in like this super long line. I was waiting for like four hours to get into this place for them to see me, to tell me like, okay, this is what's wrong with you. You're going to need to go to this specialist or whatever. Um, remember I got in there, they did another x-ray and they said, you know what? Um, after a couple weeks went by, I still couldn't skate, and, and I remember I got the results back, and they just told me, you know what, uh, you're gonna need an MRI. X-ray's not good. Um, it, it looks like there's water in there, but we don't know because X-rays is it. That's not what X-rays are for. So I'm like, I know that. Like we should have done this. We should have done this like eight weeks ago or whatever. And uh, so pretty much I got nothing done in in what two to three months. So. Um, finally, my girlfriend, luckily she's, uh, she works at like an insurance place, so she was working on getting me insurance the whole time. She finally got me insurance. Um, at this point, maybe it was like another two weeks after that, so we're like three and a half months deep into this, and I'm just stressing out, just sitting on the couch, just dying, and uh, I eventually, uh, eventually she got me the insurance. I went and finally got an MRI. Uh, I got an MRI. I uh, I remember it was it was here in Bakersfield. I got an MRI and then um, I remember I had to wait like another week. I waited another week and they told me finally after months and months of waiting, I finally found out what was wrong, which is that I tore. Uh, so so apparently there's like two ligaments, two main ligaments in your knee, and there's there's ligament that crosses over in this direction or it might be that direction, and there's another one that crosses over like that behind your knee. So I tore both of them. They said it was a third degree tear. I'm not sure what that means, but the guy said that they were both just hanging on, just barely hanging on. So like he he kind of um, used an example, like a shoelace, you know, like when you're, when you're skating, you tear up your shoelace and it's just hanging on by that last thread. Apparently that's what happened to both of them, uh, both ligaments. I think it's ACL and PCL, I believe they're called. It's been a while now, but I think that's what they're called. And uh, anyway, so the doctor, he said, um, he told me to go home. He told me uh, to get my girlfriend to ice it. He told, he gave me, um, uh, since I had insurance at that point, he told me, he gave me some uh, uh, like medication. And then he told me to go get the, so the doctor told me, he gave me a bunch of medication and he told me uh, to take some stuff and uh, told me to go to physical therapy. So I was like, okay, this is what I'm waiting for. Physical therapy, I've heard works, and, and it's, it's right up my alley. I, I'm, 
I'm real active. I like to uh, take matters in my own hands. And when he told me it was possible for me to get it back, I said, you know what? Go to physical therapy and work my ass off. So um, I went, he did tell me that it, it, he, he said it most likely will never be the same. He said, you might be able to skate again. I don't know, but go to physical therapy. I believe it was like six weeks to eight weeks of physical therapy that he gave me. So uh, I said, you know what? I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna work my ass off. And hopefully by the end of physical therapy, I'm skating again. So uh, he told me to do that. He said, after physical therapy, come back and see me. He was a specialist. So uh, like he was a, a, a sports doctor is what he called himself. So I, I thought I knew you know, what he was talking about. So um, anyway, I went to physical therapy. I went for weeks and weeks and uh, it felt like it was getting better. The dude I was seeing there was actually really cool. They showed me a bunch of exercises that to this day I still use. Um, very helpful people and uh, and it was cool because I, I finally had some hope because it, it, it sucks sometimes. Like you feel like, you know, you're just sitting on the couch, your knee's not improving, nothing's improving, you can't do anything, and you, and you can't do anything about it, which is the worst. You know, if you're a person that's active like myself, I like to take matters in my own hands and I just couldn't. I just had to sit there. Like the, the orders from the doctor were just sit there. So that's the worst. Um, event, so, you know, I, I, had, I had people finally tell me like, okay, it, it's really gonna most likely come down to how hard you work and I was like cool like I could do that like that's that's what I like to hear so uh, I went to physical therapy I worked my ass off uh, I, I, I got um, uh, I got a little machine thing that uh, like shock therapy and uh, it, you put some some pads on your knee or wherever it is that you're hurting and uh, it puts a magnetic current through and uh, it helps with pain it helps with inflammation uh, with a bunch of other stuff if you guys want to check it out it's just google shock therapy and there's a bunch of machines for that it's uh, it's actually really helpful it's helped me out even after that with like random little injuries here and there but uh um anyway so after that i went back to see the doctor he told me to go back so i did i uh, i did feel better um i was able to like do squats by then um i was doing squats i was uh, just doing regular exercises on the bike bike helps a lot it helped me out a lot to to uh, get it get my knee back um, by that point I was walking normal um, I, I remember trying to do a couple ollies a couple times just because I couldn't resist um, I would just try to pop my board here and there it's still I still felt like a little like pinching feeling um, and there was still a little bit of fluid in there the, the physical therapist was telling me that over time the fluid would just get out of there and it seemed to be doing that but it was just taking a long time so um, eventually what I did was uh, uh, I, I kept doing it on my own time. So I ran out of, uh, my insurance ran out of the physical therapy. You know, they give you a little note and they tell you how long to go for it and after that it's on you. So I kept uh, I kept doing the workouts afterwards and uh, I set an appointment with the doctor again, with the, with the specialist. So after that I went back to the doctor, talked to the specialist again and he told me like, how are you feeling? But it's really your body, your body will tell you, your body will tell you uh, if you're ready or not. I told him, you know what, I feel way better. It's helped out a lot, but I'm not, I'm not ready. Uh, it's it's not feeling like it's supposed to for skateboarding so um, uh, he told me we had a pretty uh, pretty crazy conversation where he brought up surgery and he said well you know what if when it gets to this point is you could either continue to work out on your own you continue to do the, the therapy on your own and just and just go to the gym get a gym membership and just do your thing and work out and hope hopefully in the near future you can skate and just work your way into it or you can get surgery um that was a little crazy to hear because i've never really got surgery before i'm kind of like against like the whole hospital scene <laughs> it's uh it's scary i'm terrified like not even joking i'm just terrified so i was just like i can't and then he said that they would take so the how how the surgery goes is apparent how he explained it to me was they get a cadaver and they take the ligaments from the cadaver and they pretty much screw them into your knee. So uh, <laughs> I don't want to get haunted, first of all. <laughs> and uh, and that just sounded gnarly. And he did say it would be another, I think, a month to, to two months of recovery after the surgery. And the worst part is it could not work. <laughs> so it was like, it was like, okay, do I, it, it pretty much I was in, in, a, in a tough spot where it was like rocking a hard place and it was just a decision of mine, uh, pretty much. Do I leave it up to the doctor to maybe do a good job or maybe it works out, whatever, if my body refuses it or just whatever. Or do I just leave it up to me and I keep doing what's been working and just 
just uh, put it in my own hands and say, you know what, I'm just gonna keep working my ass off and hope it works. And if not, then I guess I'm just a gym rat now. So, uh, you know, so I said, you know what, uh, let me think about it. But I mean, on the way home, I had already, con I already, already made my decision. I was just gonna keep doing, uh, keep working out. And um, yeah, the doctor said that was that was an option too. So. I went with that. I, I didn't go back to see him. Um, I got his personal number. Um, he's real cool with my girlfriend's mom. Like I don't know some relation thing. So uh, I was able to get his phone number and uh, and I, we texted back and forth a couple times. And um, he just asked me how I was doing, and it felt like it was getting better. The fluid had completely come out of my knee by then. Maybe a couple weeks after that, um, I was just going to the gym every day. Going to the gym every day. I think I would take a day off and just stretch. I think it was like one day out of the week I would just stretch and start eating healthy. I just said, you know what, like my body's done all this for me. I just got to give it something back. Like it's got my back. I got to have its back too. So it's my turn, you know, so I started eating healthy. I started uh, making all the right decisions. There's plenty of information out there if, you, if you're really interested in learning. So um, I gathered up all the information I could. I mean, there's nothing else I could do anyway at the time. So um, I was just working my ass off. Uh, like six seven days a week just a lot of stretching like extensive amounts of stretching and uh it seemed to get better uh over time um the, the the crappy part the worst part was there was so much delay with with the no insurance thing and the people who didn't know what they were talking about that this turned into an eight month thing so by i want to say by eight months i finally said like okay you know i can skate and um, I, start, I started skating again. I was just, you know, doing ollies, relearning how to skate. I mean, first of all, like, even when I'm full into skating, if I don't skate for a week, it takes me like a day to get my tricks back. So it was like fully relearning how to skate. Like just doing ollies because I, I was having like rocket ollies. So I was just doing ollies and trying to cake flip. And, and, uh, and it sucked at the time too, because uh, when I was living in Long Beach, I had got a couple of uh, flow sponsors. So um, you know, I lost all that. There was, there was nothing. It was a long time. Uh, just financially, everything changed for me. I had to move back to Bakersfield. It was just a crazy situation uh, entirely. So eventually, I just said, you know, I'm just gonna get my life back. So, uh, so yeah, I just, I started skating. I took it real slow, flat ground. Um, I still, I kept my workout routine. So I would just go to the gym. I would ride the bike. Um, I. I don't have a bike, so I never really rode like around town or anything, but uh, I hear that helps too. It's the same thing, but I would just go to the gym and, and just uh, just get on the bike for miles and miles and miles, and, and uh, it's really good. Running's really bad because it, it, uh, it's impact, so there's impact when you run, and, it's really, and most people don't know how to run, including myself, so if you don't run correctly, there's even more impact, which is really bad for your knees and your ankles to begin with, so if you have an injury, you know, you're just making it worse, so uh, a bike's perfect. It's no impact. So, uh, you know, you just work out your muscles around your knee. Uh, I talked to the doctor again after that. It, it seemed I was getting way better. Uh, I was actually skating again and, and like it seemed like I was doing well. And I talked to the doctor and he was like, yeah, if you strengthen your muscles around your knee enough, they'll do the, wor the work for the ligaments. So, I mean, I don't know. It's been a couple years now. Um, I don't know what ended up happening, but I will tell you I never stopped working out because I was told the muscles around my, my ligaments are what's keeping me skateboarding. So if I weaken, if those muscles weaken, it will happen again. I'll either re-injure it or I don't know, I'll, they'll just get weak and, and my skating will, will get worse. So, you know, it's like, it's something I just gotta live with now. So uh, I just told myself, you know what? Um, this is my life now. Like now I'm just a gym rat and I skate. So now I just, I still, I work hard at it. You continue to work hard. I've, I've had times where I take a couple weeks off from the gym for whatever reason, I'm too busy or whatever. And, uh, and I could feel it, it does start, like it starts hurting again or it starts getting sore or whatever. So I just, I try to make it a thing within the last year, just say, you know what, from now on, like this is my life. Like I go to the gym as much as I can. If I can't go to the gym for whatever reason, I'll just get on the bike. Um, I mean, I suggest getting like a bike for your house so you can like watch TV or watch skate videos while you're just, going at it you know it's like it's good uh moral support <laughs> um and uh, just just get on there and just go strengthen your muscles um they, they do a lot of work for the ligaments and uh yeah just work hard it's really um i mean i've met a couple of people that that have had very similar injuries and and it's and it's really like it's a real night and day for, between the people that 
not even the surgeries, but just between the people that tried hard and the people that didn't. And uh, you know, there is there is a way to get it better, and you'll most likely be fine if you work hard. It's kind of just think of it as a test, you know, like like how much do you love this? Like, do you really love? Do you really want to skate? Then, you know, work your ass off, and it works. It's cool. And I mean, as of now, it's been going really well. I got a couple of sponsors, and and uh, after that, I actually. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, it was like a huge thing of mine. Before I got injured, um, I, I tried to skate this this pretty big gap, uh, Compton. Uh, I think it's a middle school, right, Mowgli? Middle school, yeah, Compton Middle School. And uh, I was trying to skate that. I think um, I think I, I couldn't. I was trying to trick on that, and I couldn't get it. And then I, I remember I got injured, maybe like a month after that. And I remember it was one of those those tricks where I was like, I have to land this. Like it was gonna be the last trick for my part. Whatever, I have to do this. So. It was like the whole time I was off, like eight months. It was almost, I think I want to say it was almost nine months that I was off completely until I was like fully skating. Um, and uh, I, the whole time I'm just thinking of that trick, you know, like damn, it got away from me. I gotta get, I gotta get that, you know. And, and uh, I, I like, I, I like stuff like that to keep me going. Like I usually pick something out, I'll pick something out. Like oh, you know what? This got me. Like this spot got me. It can't get me. I, I have to like work for it. And like I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get that. And, and that you, I sleep better at night like that. So, um, you know, so I just kept working at it. I kept thinking about that trick. I just get on that bike, watch skate videos, listen to music and just like grind. And uh, eventually I did go back and I got my trick. So uh, that was like a huge turning point for me where I said, you know what? This was like pretty big stair set, got my trick. I'm, uh, this is, I'm me again, you know, and better. So uh, after that, there's no turning back and this is, this is just who I am now. So. Um, worked out i guess it worked out for the best and you know what at the end of the day i i ended up appreciating skateboarding more which i don't think i ever appreciated it before i'd never really gotten hurt to that extent before it was always you know maybe a couple weeks rolled ankle whatever but uh it was taken for granted for sure and after this i mean never again <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.